Okay, what's up, dude? So we got the uh, heart piece from the digging game, Not and only then that we did the chest one as well. And he got it in like two tries. Yes, and the other one I got two, like two or three tries afterwards too. So, um, still in our collectathon. Before we go to the swamp temple, we got a, we had a bunch of things to do. So first, we're gonna go ahead and get the fast travel bird. So look, so this so this bird is called a weather cock or a weather vane. Yeah, and um, it's, it plays a pivotal role in it. It's in Link to in the Path. It's in Link's Link Awakening. Awakening. It's in uh, Link Between Worlds as the save points. And uh, they originate from uh, the Tower of the Winds in ancient Rome in Athens. And there was a weather vane that was Triton holding a rod. And it like rotated when the wind changed directions. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, freeze below it was like the eight wind deities. And it had like sundials and a water clock. It's like a really cool building. Uh, I wish that the world was still that way. <laughs> uh, but uh, the reason that they're always like roosters is because apparently Pope Gregory the first said it was a suitable emblem of Christianity, and uh, because it's the emblem of Saint Peter. And uh, so that's why like cocks and roosters and chickens and stuff are usually what's on a church steeple. I just also want to point out that I just awoke in this beast. And to punish me, he gives me more magic. What a jerk. Yeah. He cut- he makes the meter consume half as much so it'll be still heavier. <laughs> That's his revenge plan for me waking him up. Just thought I'd share that with you guys at home, in case you were wondering what the hell is going on in this game. He got you, dude. Uh, but yeah, apparently also Pope Nicholas, uh, the first ordered that it be a thing. Uh, so, uh, we're still gonna just be collecting a bunch of stuff. You got the magic thing. Uh, now we're gonna head back into the dark world, uh, to get, uh, we did the chess game already. We're gonna go do some more stuff. Get this other heart more piece. More stuff. Sorry, guys. Got some things to collect. So right now, if we wanted to, we could go to, uh, the fourth dungeon, but we're not going to because we're playing in order. We were going to do that, but not anymore. Later, man. Maybe I'll do- maybe we'll do, uh... I'll do Temple- Temple 4 next, after- after Temple 2. Um, cause you really don't need to do- you know, nothing's required for Temple 3. Um, except going into the Dark Forest, so... Um, we got that, let's see where else we're gonna go. Um... Let's see, I think we're gonna go ahead and get this heart piece up in the village to the northwest. There's so many east. heart pieces. This is like a completionist guide, like when you guys are gonna when your guys are done. Yeah. Now we can't get the the only heart piece we cannot get at this time is the one with the two brothers because they do they don't trigger until you've uh, officially gone to the light world or gone from the light to dark world. So we're gonna be skipping that heart piece. Make a mental note of it, viewers in the guide. Also want to point out. Oh, look at that arrow. <laughs> hey, this is a clue. Go that way. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to this area over here real quick. I mean, there's a couple of things we want to get. First thing, we're gonna go ahead and go. Also, over. uh, welcome to Sunday. It's Beard Sunday. Bros. Sunday! <laughs> Beard Bros. Intro. Get that heart piece that's up here. Get that heart piece. Heart piece birth. Heart piece birth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what that even means. Alex is the best hype man, guys. Hell yeah! He just it. Hypes it up. Hypes it up. Get crazy. Get crazy hype. Get out a knife. <laughs> Stab a lady. <laughs> Don't. We do not condone that. That's do commitment. It. That's co that's commitment to the bitman. Uh oh. Wow! 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 We're gonna go here. Wait what a little. What happened? Oh, I, I, I just I. Yeah. <laughs> I was not even, that's all it was. We could do that, like, spike land. Yeah, we're gonna go, well, see, we're, we're going here because we're gonna get the, this thing real quick. I'm not making any sense, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm three. Uh-oh. There we go, got it. Oh! Never mind. <laughs> oh, I aired out. Let's see if it's still open. 
Yes, it is. Great. All right. So in this little uh, grave, we actually are now going to get the uh, red cloak, which lets us be invisible. However, it drains your magic meter every time uh, as we do it. There's always like a like. There's always like a uh, like double-edged sword item. Yeah. In a lot of the Zeldas, like mm. I remember in Twilight Princess, they have that armor that like takes your money. Mm-hmm. That was really cool. I really liked. It was pretty rad, actually. I really liked that armor. So I think next we're gonna go um, up to the. Uh, you go to Spike Land. Spike Land. Um, I think the best way to do that, though, without wasting a lot of everyone's time, we're gonna do the quick uh, save and quit trick. Yeah, we can also get the uh, the Bombos medallion. That's true. So we're gonna go to Mountain Cave uh, first, real quick. Um, talk to him, get our full life. Woo! Yeah. Alrighty, so we got that taken care of. Um, we'll get we'll get that on the. That'll be one of the last things we probably. I think is that the last thing we have to get the medallion before we go to the next. The Bombos medallion. Yeah. Yeah. I That's I just want to keep saying the Bombos medallion. Bombos medallion. The Bombos medallion. Bombos medallion. Bombos medallion. I don't know. Bombos. 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 Yambadando bombos. Bombos. Okay. Mama we just gotta. Mimosa. We gotta just mimosa it down. <laughs> Mama bosa. Mama bosa. This is what you guys uh, came for, right? Us yep. doing the bombosa song. Yeah. The, the, to the Sonic it's, Three. It's okay. Level Alex, select. Alex, it's okay. Everyone says we're game grumps, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Uh, I think it's this ledge right here, right, Alex? I believe. I believe so. This is it. Spike land. Spike land. The land of a thousand spikes. Speaking of which, if you guys don't know, there's a game called Thousand Spikes, and it is so good. So good. Uh, the sequel is coming out. It's not really a sequel so much as it's like kind of like what Binding of Isaac Rebirth is. To Binding of Isaacs, like a really that's how, that's how they're doing it. It's like a like revamped version of the game with like way more features. That's like a more like full release version. Oh, because okay. the original version of the game is a dollar, and you can get it on the Xbox Live Arcade Indie. A, is it? Oh, it was always a dollar. It's just a dollar, and it's so good. Wow. And so they, you know, Nicholas, uh, the people who did like the Cave Story remake, and they're actually doing Rebirth. Yeah. Uh, they are Gonna redoing the, the game. magic up in this. Yeah. Ugh. And oh, we've been oh, we, we have a uh, we have a copy of it at the office and oh, it's just really wee. awesome. Ooh, you're gonna this is gonna be close. Ah, oh. uh, all right. So, uh, or is the last thing on this list the Bombos the Bombos the medallion? Bombos medallion? It is that the uh, Bombos medallion. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and use this. Uh, I might have just glitched out here. Oh no, I didn't. What is the what is it called the red what? The, the red, red cape. The red cape. Oh, I died. No, the red what? The red cape. Is it really called the red cape? I believe red so. Red clothes? Cape. Cape. C-A-P-E. I don't know. C-A-P-E. Let's go to number two here real quick. Na -na 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 -na. All right. What? Take it, thief. What? Oh. I didn't know that could happen. What happened? I killed a uh, like little dude, and he just said, "All right, take it, thief." I don't know what that means, but he was just going about his business, and you and I just ran into him with him your sword and out. took his life. He was pretty like bitter in his last moments. I would have tried to at least be like profound <laughs> or enjoy my you life know, a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, I know. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. All right, so we're gonna go get the Bombos Medallion real quick, which is like really powerful, but it's actually also not required to get the Bombos Medallion. Uh, is that the only one that's not required? Yeah, I know some of them are required. Yeah, you know, no, the Bombos one is the only one that's not required, but it's like also the best one because it gives you the most coolest, the most coolest thing. Gotcha. Okay. The most coolest. Um, that's a little as grammar. As a kid, I always did this. It just was something I did, and it bummed me out that I never did anything. Just put them all down. Just in case. You never know, man. You never know. Someday, ten years from now, you're gonna do it and it's gonna like be like, hi. I've uh, been waiting I'm for Shigeru you. Miyamoto. <laughs> this is really me, I'm in the game. Bombos. The Bombos Medaliano. Bum hey Bombos. Bombos Medaliano. Hey Bombos. Bombos Italiano. Yeah, it's really cool. You just saw what it does. It's cool. Alright, so I think 
Are we for sure done with the heart piece collecting part? For now, yes. Now it's time to head over to the dungeon. Alrighty, alrighty. The old swamp pee. The old swamparoonie. So, the thing about the swamp palace is that it holds a sort of historical significance that's sort of double-edged, I'd say, in, in the, like, tradition of The Legend of Zelda. Do you know what distinction the Swamp Palace has? Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, oh, it's a, it's a important first for the series. Uh, I'm gonna say water? Yes. Wa it is uh, water the first temple? water temple, uh, and it's oh. sort of a trope of Zelda, uh, and I'm sure most of you guys already know this, but it's sort of a trope of Zelda that the water temples, like, anything water, like, there's some that are, like, overtly water temples, some that just have a lot of water in them, some have just, like, waterfalls underground and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the water temple in Ocarina of Time, Jimmy's nightmare, the Great Bay Temple, and Majora's Mask. Ap that's everyone's nightmare. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, are, they are known for being, like, very annoying, complex dungeons, you know? This one's pretty straightforward. This though, one, in my this opinion. one is not so bad, but it is technically the first water temple, and as such, it's important to say that, and and just sort of like acknowledge that sort of little thing. Like people kind of always usually end up hating the water temples in Zelda games. This one, uh, this is the only water temple that I like actually. I like the one in uh, Link Between Worlds. Uh, yeah, that one's good too. That one is really not super huge problem at all. Um. It also is the is the dungeon that has the hook shot in it, mm -hmm. uh, which is really cool. Um, but uh, let's talk about some of the uh, the enemies that we see in this in this uh, in this dungeon. So the uh, the red guys are the Bari, the same guys that are in a lot of the dungeons, and the Bari are supposed to be kind of like jellyfish. I, they don't really look like it in this, um, but. You know what's funny is that in Twilight Princess, the Bari are freshwater jellyfish, which are like almost unheard of in real life. So, <laughs> think freshwater about that. jellyfish. Yeah, not really a thing. And those blue things are called Kiamaron, and they're like a bubble enemy. And uh, it's weird. They're like sort of like living bubbles. Mm -hmm. And uh, in uh, the Palace of the Four Sword dungeon for the Game Boy Advance version of this game. Uh, the orange, uh, Argus boss, which is, like, this kind of, like, orange jellyfish with, like, a big eyeball in the middle, mm -hmm. it, it summons, like, swarms of them. And they just, like, kamikaze themselves in into Link. And that's just, like, what they do. It's just a natural thing that they do. Yeah, that's their, their lot in life. You also got the Stalfos, as usual. And a couple other enemies, Medusas, uh, Stal- uh, you know, the Argy, the Fire Guys, the Guru Guru Bar. Like, straight out of Mario. The, like, Fire Bar thing. Um, but those things down there are called Hovers. Those little, like, bug- water bug things. Yeah. And, uh, they are also- they're often called, uh, Tech- Techatites? Tektites? Tech Tektites. Yeah, and uh, the Japanese name of the Water Tech Knights translates as Hover, so that's why they're also known as Hover. Uh, and the uh, the cue ball enemy, uh, which is the... Uh, how would I describe them? They're like a big uh, like octopus-looking creature from Link's Awakening. They're also called uh, Hip Loop Hovers in Japan, so they're kind of like a mix between a Tektite and a Helmosaur. But... Uh, but, uh, yeah, they're kind of based off of those bugs, the what, what are they called? Skirts? Something like that? Uh, sorry, I just had a, a moment that I just remembered, uh, cause I was reading some of the comments a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Um, someone asked if they could do a versus- or an animated of us? Yes. Like an animated moment? Yes. We encourage it. Uh, yes, a hundred. We would love that. We will put it on TOVG.com if it's great. Yeah. If it's if it's awesome, if it's we'll, if it's awesome, we're there. I'll, honestly, we'll probably just put it up even yeah. if it is. That's true. Yeah, but don't you got to not be hard on yourself. That's the thing that people are not realizing when they when submit they stuff. submit stuff. They're like, hey man, here's my video. It kind of sucks, but 
Here. Ho hope you take me anyways. I'm like, no, if you don't have, if you don't believe in it, I'm not gonna believe in it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta act like you're the best. Yeah. That sounds um, really shallow, but I had to- I had to do that for the longest time. Yeah, w whatever. I'm a pretty humble dude, but people think I'm, like, super... ...cocky, because it's like, yeah, the completion is like, the best Peace thing games, ever. Dudes. It's like, yeah, it's like, actually, it's just, I have to... Like, if you- it, with a- with a name like that, you know, you have a lot of weight to it, and you need to, like, kind of own up to that title. Mm-hmm. I think I do a, a fairly decent job at it. Yeah. So... The hookshot yeah. is a pretty, uh... Popular item in Zelda. It's like one of the most. It's in a lot of the Zelda. It's in Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time. Uh, Majora's Mask has one. The Wind Waker has one. Link Between World has one. All over the place. And they're really cool. Cool item. Really like cool idea. I don't know if it's the first thing that ever had this. I know Batman kind of has something similar to it. But it's a really neat, fun, like kinetic item. And so I just wanted to. Uh, Give it a little shout out because I think shout it's- Shout out to the hookshot, y'all. I just wanted to give it a shout out because I think it's a really cool, like, uh -oh. gameplay mechanic that's just fun to, like, play and use. Uh, so Guru uh. Guru Bar, those fire bars are literally- Guru Guru means round and round. It's round bar. and round? Yeah. But they are actually a, uh... They're actually a enemy that was supposed to be in the original Legend of Zelda but never made it in. And, uh... Are I kind I think they're kind of supposed to be a reference to the fire bars in Mario. Because they're they're exactly the same thing. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes they even catch them on fire in some of the games, which is pretty Oof. cray cray. You know what I mean? Um. I hate moments like this. What's that? I'm almost dead. I have to uh, press a certain colored switch. I always forget to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to do that. I just need to get it in my brain. Instead of like, you know, I should know better. Once I hit that switch, I need to. Did you get the boss key? No, I was about to get the boss key, but Me because so. I had that uh, thing switched around, I gotta walk all the way back around, push the block, drop down in the hole, go to the right, grab the boss key, and then I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. Good to go. Faster, so, uh, faster, faster, faster. in the comic for Link to the Past, the, uh, the Swamp- the Swamp Palace is there, also. And, uh, when they get there, they find it, like, really dried up and stuff, and so he, uh, calls Sahasrala. And he- it's so weird name as a comic. Yeah, he has to go to the Light World version, and they, like, find this fountain, and they, like, fight all these monsters, and they get stuck inside the, like, Light World Ooh, version gosh. of the palace. Ooh! And, uh... So some little boy who's oh. with them, some little boy who's with them, like knocks a switch oh. while while Link's fighting monsters, and it and it causes the the temple to flood, and so then he can get back into it on the other on the other side, and so that's how it happens. This is like a little fun like exploration of the like world dimension travel mechanic. So that's neat, right? We have one more fairy for you guys at home who are clenched right now and tired of hearing that, uh, clinking annoy- Oh! Oh my god, what happened there? I'm playing like a crazy man. Got the, I'm on that one heart run, that, that quarter heart, or half heart run right now. Yeah, but you know what? What's Zelda without this sound? It's true. It's such a, like, Zelda sound. Oh, 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 oh hello, oh, hello, oh, hello, oh, 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 Here comes a siren. Siren. Alright, and there's yeah, the hookshot. Boing! That's right. Boing! <laughs> Boing! Oof. I believe that I inst instead of- oh, oh gosh, I'm supposed to find the key, that's right. There you go. Then jump down here. Oof. Oof. Go up here, watch out for this stuff. Now we don't really have a way of getting across, but you oh. get the hookshot so you hook can go there and, and key. Yep. Bam. Alrighty. Look at that, we're almost there. I always forget! Oh. Later, man. I got one fairy left, so we're good. Yeah. All I need is one. We're almost through this. Yeah, it's a, most of these dungeons are pretty short. There are some dungeons that are the bane of my existence. This is not one of them. Yeah. There's also sort of a connection. Oh, I keep doing that. I'm so... <laughs> guys, I'm so sorry. There's a, there's always a connection also between the water temple. Not always, but like a lot of the time, the hookshot and the water temple are like connected. Yeah. 
Don't know why. Don't know what about the water temple. It's probably just because of this game. You know? It's probably just like, oh, yeah, duh. You know? Yeah. Just like a tribute. I always forget which is the right way to go. Video games are so funny that way. I think if I... So that's, that's, my, that's a question of the day today. How important is, like, tradition to you in a series? Like, are you just looking for, like, tropes? Does it, like, let you down when the tropes aren't there? Or, like... Like, do you, like, how do you like to see your tropes? Do you like them to be, you know, like, Pokemon is, like, almost the exact same game every time in a lot of ways? I knew it. Like, uh, does that, is that something that you want them to do? Like, what if, what if, you know, the next Zelda played a lot more, like, Skyrim, where you, like, get quests from people and you, like, keep track of them and you do them, you know? Or, like, Dark Souls, where there's, like, not really a lot of answers for you at all? I think it just depends. Like, for me... Like, I feel like as long as the, like, life mechanic is the same, uh-huh, I am open to any and all change that is willing to... The life mechanic? Like, just, like, hearts, and just, like, you That's know... That's, like, what you want? That's what you like about I Zelda? Just, I, feel, I just feel like it Do should... Do you think it's it a should, nostalgia thing, or is it, like, I think a, so. At this point, it is. And I think it should be based on, like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but also innovation, um, at its finest. And, yeah. you know, I like that Nintendo doesn't, you know adapt to every company right like notice how you know and this has been like the common theme for us here in the office this week is like everyone's crapping on nintendo like look at nintendo and not making fps's like good on them for sticking true to themselves and uh, like just, they've had some first person games aka metroid but like but, yeah, but it you, wasn't really an fps it doesn't yeah, have like no well i'm saying it's like it's like they could have easily just been like okay let's do it ea made a, a, a Dead Space, or a Resident Evil 4 clone called Dead Space. You know, like that was like, a, yeah, that was because that was more of a trend, right? Uh, they don't really do that, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like, they, they don't follow, they don't go after the, you know, what everyone else is doing. And, I've, and, you know, kudos to them. Although they do, they don't change things very much as everyone wants, but that's okay. Yeah, but, I mean, like, they do, like, I, I think right now, like, you're seeing a very good example of how, like, you know, they're staying true to who they are, but they're, you know, trying new things. Yeah. Like, this Pokemon game was very, very, like, different than most Pokemon games. Uh, and, you know, Mario Kart, same thing. It's like, all this online stuff, all this, like, Oh, I might die right now. So let's talk about this guy real quick. So this guy is, um, the, uh, Argus. You might be in trouble, Steps here. I think you could do it. I don't know, man. It's I got three the, hearts. Just punch it. So this thing's Just called the clench it, yeah. So says. this thing's called the Argus. It's a like it's like a Nike jellyfish here? with an eye on it, right? This is what I was just talking about. Uh, but uh, its name comes from the Argus Panoptes. It's an all-seeing, hundred-eyed giant from Greek mythology, and uh, it was a guardian of the heifer nymph Lo and son of Aristor. And uh, it, it has like a lot of eyes, and Oof, that's go sort away. of a, it's it was it was Hera's servant, and uh, it was its whole point is that it guards the heifer from Zeus uh, and uh, Zeus was trying to like get down with this this heifer nymph and uh, Hermes eventually slayed Argus and uh, by disguising himself as a shepherd and he poked out he like closed all his eyes with like spoken charms and then just threw a stone at him and it was like the first bloodshed oh no. amongst the new generation of gods. So that's pretty neat. And that's what he's based off of. Oh my gosh. The clenching continues. And uh, this this boss and Moldorm from, uh, you know, the Moldorm worm mm -hmm. are the only two bosses that are the same species as the one in Link Between Worlds. Interesting. All the other ones are like similar, but not quite the same. But these two are like exactly the same. Yay, the maiden is free. Be it because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The trifles will grant the wishes of whoever touches it as long as the person lives. In that is why it is. <laughs> Raftina. Only a select few know of its location, but at some point that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the golden land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, Luckily he couldn't he figure, couldn't it, figure out. it out. But he did a lot of work in his base. How to... <laughs> base. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are other magical warping points like the one you saw on Death Mountain. 
I'm so sorry for all of our dialect based fans out there. Uh, uh, between the two worlds, eh, and find the evils hidden in the dark world, you are the only one who can You're destroy the only Ganondorf. One who can get into the thief space. no Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Do you understand? Yes. May, May the, the way, way of the, the hero, hero lead you the to his base. May the way of the hero lead you past his gods and, and base. right into his base. Go to his base. All right. Uh, so with that, we're done for the day. We got the Swamp Temple down. We're going to do some more stuff next weekend. We'll see you guys next time on Super Beard Bros. See you uh, later, man. For, uh, mother. Later, man. Later, man. Later, man. <laughs>